we have to meet at five on campus. So let's get started. One, two, three, woo! Alright, we made it. Everybody say hi. We're all here. So we're gonna what? go uh, stop at the bathroom. So everyone heads to the bathroom, they'll go right to the bag. <laughs> 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 We gotta squeeze the tires. This is hard with this video. Okay, ready? One. So thanks for visiting, Emily. Okay, ready? One, two. Thanks for visiting, Emily. Woo! Okay. <laughs> okay. One, two. Thanks for visiting, Emily. Woo! The cemeteries are segregated. Some are Catholic, some are Jewish, some are black, some are white, all that kind of stuff. So remember, we have two sites here. So there are Delacro property, which is over, so there's, there's where we are right now, this is Woodlands Trail and Park. And so it's confusing, because this is the name of the place, Woodlands Trail and Park, it was also the original name for the NGO. Now the NGO has been named Woodlands Conservancy, so it's clear what we're talking about. But this is the, the Woodlands Trail part of it. So we just came in, this is basically oriented correctly. So you and I are right here, right now. Uh, here's here's the canal that's right there. Here's the canal that's right there on the right. Okay, and so you'll see these different paths. So we have different names for these guys. This is not Trail C. This is Trail B is in boy. It's mislabeled. Anyway, so this is Trail B. So if we start off here and walk, this is going to go and make a loop. So the very the reason we actually first started getting submeter. GPS units was because we were getting confused because we didn't know at the time, the first time it was all tangled of dead trees and everything was hard to see. We didn't know the trail doubled back this tightly against this other trail. And so um, originally we designed the monitoring effort, we went to the right and left of each side and so we were kind of crossing, it was going blah. So now we only do trail right. So we, we do this loop, this is trail B, Ooh, boom, boom, come back and it ends basically right here. This is what we call trail A same thing there's two tracks there's the one farthest towards the the creek excuse me farthest towards the, towards the drainage canal and that's the one we start with this other one is is in theory for horses and things like that so people can be separated and not be having conflicting uses but turns out people kind of walk wherever but but basically so these guys parallel down we call this one trail c don't know if we'll get to that this year um, we have to be super jamming and have ideal weather and stuff, but maybe. Um, and so trail just goes, trail A goes all the way down here for a while. Hi, uh, we're late. We're doing transex right now and to do it, we have to lay the tape from middle of the trail onwards for 100 meters. And that's what I do. All right, Ralph. All right, I am the recorder, so I start recording from zero. 
zero meters and identify any species, uh, DBH, uh, diameter by breast height in centimeters, heights, and then do the uh, overstory and understory cover, as well as how much leaf litter, wood, and fallen logs. Okay. I cut the blackberry with this machete. Awesome. Uh, formed the nonprofit organization in 2001 and started working in this parish, Plaquemines Parish. It, when you come over that intercoastal canal bridge and you notice this big space, it's half one parish or county and half another. So we're in the Plaquemines Parish side. And this this levee here is what separates Orleans Parish from Plaquemines Parish. So it started over here and they dedicated this area for us to begin trails which we did begin doing, and there were non-native invasive vegetation at the edges, particularly where they put in this man-made canal and that man-made canal over there. Uh, but it was actually a pretty healthy, I mean, semi-healthy yes. forest, Remnants. even though it was under pump and, you know, it had been cleared probably back in the, I don't know, early 40s or something. Um, but other than that, it was like a very dense canopy. You really couldn't see the sky because of the dense canopy. So we had our grand opening uh, June 5th, National Trails Day, 2005. And then <laughs> three months later, Boom. June, July, August, yeah, almost exactly three months later, Hurricane Katrina happened and took away the canopy. We lost probably 80%. Uh, experts say we lost 84 years of tree growth in one day. Couldn't find the trails. Took a year and a half to convince a group of people from FEMA that there actually had been trails here. And then it took probably another year to get somebody to actually help clear them. I mean, we tried to clear them ourselves with volunteers. And that was a lot of fun. It was a lot of hard work. And it went really, really slowly because there were lots of trees, a lot of chainsawing. Um, so then, so with that canopy gone, invasive vegetation started to come further into the forest. And then this guy shows up out of nowhere. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, so he was coming with his students to gut houses after Katrina and to educated students about the culture here in New Orleans and hurricane impacts. 